In this short video, I'll show you how to recover deleted photos from iCloud, even after 30 days. If you've accidentally deleted precious memories or lost photos from a damaged phone, it can feel like those images are gone forever. It's even worse when you also can't find the photos on the iCloud backup. But the good news is that iCloud offers recovery options that can help retrieve your photos, even if they've been permanently deleted from your device. Hello, and welcome to the 3 Minutes Fix channel. With our years of experience, we've helped countless users recover their deleted files, including iCloud photos. Together, we'll explore the best methods to restore your images using our comprehensive, step-by-step -step guide to navigating iCloud photo recovery. Stay with me until the end to discover how to recover deleted messages from your iPhone. Now, let's get started on how to recover your deleted photos from iCloud. The first method we'll use is the Photos app's recently deleted album. If you have iCloud Photos enabled, the first and easiest recovery method is checking the recently deleted album within the Photos app. iCloud stores deleted photos for 30 days across all your devices signed in with the same Apple ID. Here's how. Open the Photos app. Tap on Albums, then scroll down to Recently Deleted. Select the photos you want to recover and tap Recover. This method is simple but only works if the photo was deleted within 30 days and iCloud Photos was already turned on. Another method is to access iCloud's recently deleted album online. For those who might not have access to their iPhone or prefer using a computer, you can recover your deleted photos directly from iCloud.com. Here are the steps, sign into iCloud.com. Click on Photos, and then on Recently Deleted in the sidebar. Choose the photos you want to recover and click Recover. This method allows you to recover photos that were synced across all your Apple devices, but again, only within the 30-day grace period. One other method is to restore from an older iCloud backup. If your photos have been permanently deleted after 30 days, recovery is more challenging. However, you can restore them if you had an iCloud backup enabled before the deletion. Here's how, erase your iPhone's content by going to Settings. Then General. Then tap Reset and finally tap Erase All Content and Settings. This will erase your iPhone completely. After the iPhone restarts, choose Restore from iCloud Backup during the setup process. You can watch our dedicated video on how to set up an iPhone. Next, select a backup created before the photos were deleted. Be cautious with this method, as restoring from a backup will replace all current data with the older backup data. Before we continue, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more tech tips. Now, let's continue with how to get pictures back from iCloud. Another method is by using data recovery software. If none of the above methods work, you can try data recovery software. While this option is less certain, programs like Dr. Phone or Phone Rescue can sometimes recover permanently deleted photos by scanning your iPhone's internal storage. Keep in mind that success is not guaranteed, especially if the photos have been overwritten. Most reputable software options are paid. You may need to provide your Apple ID credentials to access your iCloud data, so be sure to change your password afterward for security. These methods give you several options depending on how recently your photos were deleted and whether you had iCloud features enabled before the deletion. They are easy to use, requiring you to download and install the software, then connect your iPhone to the PC or Mac and follow the prompts. But what if it's messages that were deleted and you need to restore them? No worries. In this video linked here, I'll walk you through the simple steps to recover iPhone deleted messages. Tap to watch it after this. To explore more Apple iPhone video tutorials, click this card. Check the description below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for tuning in.